Yes, всем привет и добро уча из Новой Зеландии. Hello everybody and welcome back to another video for 2020. I hope all of you across the world are looking after yourselves, looking out for each other and keeping each other safe. I've got a very special video here and uh, I hope all of you will enjoy it. I hope all of you will like it. And I recently just got back from visiting my parents' place, my beautiful mum and dad. And I got to sit down with them, talk about our entire family, our journey and our entire strong relationship as a bond, as a family. And why having both of the families, the Russian family and the New Zealand family has made our family bigger. I hope you all all enjoy this video and please look after yourselves, look out for each other and enjoy. Thank you. Spasiba Bushoi. I don't know, the big question is always um was it was it hard to, to was it easy to choose to adopt from Russia? Yeah, well, there wasn't much choice really. What the were the choices? There. Well New Zealand was out, so Russia was Russia yeah, it was all happening at that time when we were looking. So Russia mm. seemed to be the place. Early 1990s. Yeah, and, yeah. and successful adoptions. So yeah, it was mm. all facilitated by an agency here. I can, yeah. yeah. Yeah, which were, they were excellent. You know, it was basically impossible to adopt anyone from New Zealand. So Janice got wind of um, ICANN's and we just picked up from there. Big process though. Mm. It was. Um, yeah, mind you, when you think about it now, it wasn't from the time we started looking or thinking about it, and from the time till the time we had your bag, it was probably only about seven or eight months. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah. It was within a year, wasn't it? But Back was, in the there August, was a, a hell of a lot of documentation, <clears throat> and <throat> Mum, bless her, took care of that really because it was uh, she had the time. Doctor. You had to have doctor's, doctor's uh, certificate to say you were well. You had to be checked by the police. Crazy. They wanted to know your financial the details. Lawyers. We had to go to a lawyer um, and get everything mm. okay. You had to be the perfect person, really. Mm. And, <laughs> and okay. wear it. Your upbringing. Yeah. Yeah. Wear it, mate. You guys are the perfect. <laughs> yeah. The perfect people who else could, you know, <laughs> can ask for any better. Oh, yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, they wanted to know about your upbringing, your yeah. uh, religion. Um, it's a lot to. Um, it's a lot, yeah. Lot to ask for, mm. and was that all of that whole paperwork and process did that almost put you off a little bit at times? Not me, no. Not just not something really. you had to do. I, I quite appreciated it really because I thought you know the Russians went into it very very yeah. thoroughly. Yeah. They they wanted to make sure that the kids were going to good homes mm. and not being abused or anything like that and we we had to well mum mum, again mum did it we had to do reports after we adopted you guys Mm. and that was quite thorough quite comprehensive Mm, they wanted to know but also before we went we had to have a social spend a weekend with a social worker yeah and go and work through her questions and she wanted to know all about our backgrounds and so it was very thorough yeah financially it was it was very thorough process Mm. You know, you could almost say that it was a little bit of a pain in the in the rear end, but I quite appreciated it because from the Russians' side of it, they wanted yeah. to make sure everything was was uh, above board and yeah. make sure the yeah. child goes into the right family. Yeah, mm. yeah, because it's there were so many children in the 1990s, 700 plus, they were adopted into New Zealand mm. from Russia, mm. and you can see that. The agency ICANN's went through the process so many times and they knew how, how to do it that many times. Mm. And for Russia's sake, I know that with people I know in Russia, they've said to me, it was incredible what New Zealanders did for Russian children, how they just really looked out for the children and they raised them well. Mm. I mean, It I'm, is actually, yeah. Because also um, what ICANN's did, you know, setting it up. Yeah, to start definitely. with, so all those steps were in place. It was really incredible organisation. Um, yeah, they well, are. Well, Sally definitely. and Wendy were were incredible people. Yeah, they they spent a hell of a lot of time, put a lot of effort into it. Yeah, um, mm. which the Russians appreciated. We appreciated. The Russians, you can see, they appreciated it a lot. The people in the orphanages, they always talk about the New Zealanders in particular, and just them. And from my orphanage. They're just saying, I remember so many New Zealand families coming here, beautiful people. They just were so nice. They knew how to socialise. I'll put it in the tamest ways. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know, just how to get along. And that yeah, was, yeah, really, yeah, that was really nice. And Good one. Likewise, with 
a lot of American families that I've met too. A lot of them have gone over, they've done some incredible journeys as well. Every family is such a unique story mm. with that. And it's yeah. just, you can see the family really have that Russian culture in the family too, and they're very proud yeah. of having that. Mm. And that's a special part of their family. Mm. Well, we were very lucky because we, we stayed with um, Junior and Olga, and Olga worked in the orphanage. And Russian people, they were absolutely amazing, beautiful people. So they took us mm. into their home and um, welcomed us and fed us, had really nice food and... The odd vodka? Yeah. <laughs> nothing wrong with it, nothing wrong with that. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. he, such neat people, so we've been very, very lucky all the way through. Yeah. It's incredible just even looking back at the old videos and photos and Dad, you picking mm. us up and Mum, you walking around as me. It's, um, I don't know, I don't remember those times at all no. myself, but I can see that it was a very different world. Everything was so different. Everything was mm. still coming out of the Soviet era. And you can see that there were so many children in the orphanages that just really wanted a home. And you can see that and it was just... Mm. Yeah, it's, it's sad. It's, it's a, a sad, sad situation. situation. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, so hopefully they'll be able to start up again sometime soon. Fingers are crossed. Mm. And um, I know that you, you both also went in 2015 and then after I met my birth family and I remember me telling you before this, two years before that, me telling you, Mum, I was saying, oh, I've tracked down my birth mother. And, and Dad, you said, oh, <laughs> <laughs> You just said, what, are you, are you serious? You found her in the middle of this place yeah. in Russia. Yeah. yeah, that was amazing. Gosh. You did it. Yeah. Just tracking down. You did You it. never thought that would ever happen in a huge well, yeah. country like that. We, I always said to you two boys, it would make my life if you tracked down your birth parents. Mm. And the internet wasn't really in vogue in those days. Yeah. And I thought, how the hell are we going to do this? You know, it's mission impossible. And you said to me one time, I'm going to try and track them down. I, thought, I wanted to help you. Yeah. And I thought, where the hell do we even begin? Next thing, you'd been beavering away behind the background. Well, I told you guys. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but yeah. You, you, yeah. You, you did it I all. Just, and, yeah. and then came out and said, hey, I think I've tracked my birth, birth mother. Yeah. Mm. That's incredible. What you did mm. was, uh, was simply incredible. Connecting and calling her. I remember I told you it was her birthday. I told you both. Yeah. And I called her and she just, she had no idea about New Zealand and it was just, getting her to learn about it. Yeah. She she thought that she would never see her son again. Mm. And she said, well, what happened to, you know, she said, what happened? And it's um, it's on both ends, it's it's a life-changing experience for both families. Yeah. Without and just doubt. seeing those photos, because up till then, we knew you had birth parents, but we had no idea. And then you see these photos and they become real people, you know, and then you think, oh, I wonder what they've been through. And yeah. Living their just life while we live ours. Yeah. And I remember growing up as well and asking you both about our birth families, Andre in particular as well, and me, and just saying, you know, it'd be so interesting one day to know what mm. they look like, who they are, sure, what mm. they do, because that's part of, part of me, it's my background. And like any mother letting go of their child, you understand that they go through some very difficult situations, but you also want to yeah. thank mm. the birth parents for doing what they did because they couldn't raise me, mm. you know, and they put me into mm. a really beautiful family and that's important side of that too. So it's good to connect both families like mm. that and just know oh, that, yeah. you know, this was the past, this is the now. Yeah. Let's connect and let's yeah. focus on the future. So well, it changed again, their been, lives. We've been changed very, days. very, very lucky, you know. Mm. Your, your birth dad, Misha and Liana uh, are um, incredible people again. So it's been, mm. we've been so lucky to meet up with them and Tatiana um mm. so hey and misha didn't even know i existed so mm. imagine yeah imagine. well imagine the shock for him yeah <laughs> he was he was shocked and he's accepted yeah. everything yeah it's just a just taking your taking it all in isn't he and incredible guy yeah now it's the future of just i guess focusing on growing that um learning the language and everything like that for me mm. and so that i can try and connect both sides without a language barrier because that's the big thing. Like mm. When you met them, you needed someone to translate the whole time and that you want to say so many things. And he was the same. He was ask, ask, you know, he was a, he was a big yeah. talker. 
yeah. and he just wanted to tell you everything. And but it's just that language barrier is not always easy. No. I take my hat off to you. You trying to learn the language, and you're doing a, a great job on that. Mm. Slowly but steadily. <laughs> I'm doing well. It's not an easy language to no, learn, but so good on you. That's that's great. What do you think with um, for other people, for other families who had adopted children, not just Russia, but you know, it depends on every family, every situation is different, every story is different. But for those, for that child at, at a particular age who's ready to search for birth family, you know, what would you say to the parents that are a bit worried about what they might find, or you know, it's a hard mm. question to ask, but you know what I mean. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm hearing you. You know, I, and every family has different circumstances. But personally, I would say, hey, uh, it's going to make the child's life to find their birth parents. Um, and for them to think about the, the child. Mm. And, and um, we're just wrapped that it happened. And I, I, I wish every family that, that does what you've done um, well. And, I, and mm. I, hope it, I sincerely hope it goes well for them. Mm. Yeah. You just got to support, support, mm. support, support. Mm. You also Regardless got, of what you might be yeah. thinking, you might have a few worries and things, but, but yeah. There's going to be a roller coaster just, though too. Mm. Oh, without it's, a doubt. You got to be prepared for what? Yes. Roadblocks. You got to mm. be prepared for uh, disappointments. But at least you've, you've got to try. Um, if you want to do it, you've got to be able that, to. That's try what I said to you, yeah. Alex, before you went over to Russia. You know, I said you've got to go into it with a totally open mind. Oh, I did. <laughs> because mm. there could yeah. be things that you see when you when you go over there that you may not like yeah. but you've got to be prepared for that and you were yeah and you were you did so well <laughs> so yeah extremely I, well i'm very thankful for <clears throat> both of you of course too because every time i go over there too you know i get homesick of course and i keep in touch every day almost and it's just a beautiful thing for us because mm. yeah and I, I i believe um we never had we never had a bad relationship in our family ever but it's also i believe it's made our family so much stronger mm. if you know what i mean since the whole journey began i believe it's just made i don't know you know what i'm like it's well, made, it's just added to it all added, it's, it's added, added to added, it yeah and it's a, um such a nice thing because we're very fortunate to have both of you um to have that culture in our family and and mm. show us about it and say we have this Russian culture in our family, you should be proud of it, and it's just, mm. it's, can ask for anything more. Well, we've always encouraged that. You know, I remember when you were kids, if anything came on the news about Russia, I tried to get you guys... <laughs> come on, come on. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. Tried to get you to sit down and look at it, because that's where you were born. Big country. And it's, a, and it's such a fantastic country, it's just so... Old and it's just here. Yeah, it's an so amazing. So much history. Yeah, a lot the history's of history. amazing. And, yeah, yeah. And the people. So we, you know, we've learned all that. Didn't know much about it beforehand. And you like the uh, people though. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Yes. Yeah. 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 And obviously, um, with me next year as well in my big journey to mm. Russia in a few months, and me uh, making it, it wasn't an easy decision. Um, trying to connect and learn the language just to go there, learn it, take it all in and just experience it for myself for a long period of time. Mm. I mean, it's probably, you probably jumped straight into it when I asked you about what would you think about me doing that? I know it was a bit, oh. No, I was, I mean, as long as you didn't stay away forever. I mean, I, I couldn't say anything because I left mum and dad for four years when I went to England. So you can't stop people from doing it. It's just the COVID thing that worries me a bit at the moment. Of course. That's my concern. Yeah. But, you know. I'm happy you for you doing it. I think that's what, what you're doing is, is great and, and good on you. I wish you well. Mm. Um, but just repeating what mum said, you know, the only concern I have is, is the COVID thing. Yeah, of course. With, yeah. the, with health. Mm. Yeah. But so you got to be careful. No, we'll yeah. support you um, all the way on it, mate, and good on you. Mm. Then I'll be, I'll come back in no time, don't worry about that. I've still got a lot of things to do coming well, back here. Oh, yeah, that's right. And it <laughs> yeah. will fly. I mean, yeah. look, look how quick this year went, has gone. Yeah. Get into it. Do whatever yeah. you can. Life's too short. Uh, without a doubt. Yeah. Getting shorter every day. So, yeah. live your dreams. Awesome. Mm. Yeah. I think mm. um, with 
our entire family it's going to be interesting when I do come back and just just I guess me talking about it and because seeing the big picture and seeing what it's like to actually stay there for a long period of time mm. will be a big learning experience for me because I've never witnessed that I've only stayed maybe maximum three four weeks like near to a month and even that was a lot of learning and your mind starts to switch and translate words in your head and you have to focus on Russian and it's around mm. you. It's very, it's not Could easy. Mm. It's not easy, but it's a big learning curve and a great experience for anybody who is revisiting the birth country because, you know, this is where I was born. I want to try and connect with it as much as I can. But of course I do get homesick. I get very homesick good when you. I'm there. Good on you. So oh. it's not easy. Oh, that's good. It's, good. It's, a, <laughs> it's a good thing. It's a good thing. Mm. But also it'll be helpful for our entire family, I think. In the long run, because mm. you mm, never know, yeah, just... Tatiana or Misha might come here one day. It would be really nice if they could. It would be, uh, be great. Yeah. It would be. And just I'd, sit out I'd, here. I'd, and I'd treasure the day if they could. <laughs> Seeing that it's Christmas very soon, um, this is this has been, you know, it's been a great year for all of us, mm. and uh, it's been a hard year very as well. Different, yeah. Very different and hard year, but it's. Um, a lot of more connecting with all of that in Russia and connecting here with New Zealand and that's, I feel like that's happened a lot this year. And as a family as well with all the lockdowns and all that, we talk, mm. I think we've talked the most that we ever have on the phone this year. Good, <laughs> get, yeah. I think we have a lot of mm. video calls and connecting and just everybody closer, I feel. Mm. Yeah, yep, for yep. sure. Yeah. No, that's a year. It's been a good year in a lot of ways. Up and downs. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Well, thank you, yes. Mum and Dad. You're welcome. You're Always welcome. welcome. I always appreciate it. And we wish you well in a really safe journey. Yeah. We'll be watching with interest. Photos. <laughs> yeah. A lot of photos and videos. Yeah. Good yeah. luck to you, mate. Yeah. Thank you. Very good, yes. Just remember when you're back here, make sure your room's kept tidy, mate. Thanks. Thanks. <laughs> For new my room is my, my room is tidy and I know that every time when I leave here. Um, I always forget something, so I need to, um, yeah, work on that. Yep, yep. You Good opportunity. Always yeah. leave some. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs>